Hi, my name is Lee Anderson and I'm a Senior Agriculture Economist at Farm Credit Canada. My role is to provide economic analysis to help our customers understand the drivers of agri-food markets as well as to drive good business strategy at FCC. Supply and demand determines the value of the Canadian dollar against the foreign currency. That is the demand Canadians have for other countries' products, our imports, and the demand other countries have for our products, our exports. So for example, Canada exports millions of barrels of oil a day to the United States. Oil is a commodity priced in US dollars. The higher the demand for oil, and the higher its price is, the higher the demand for Canadian dollars. Historically, the Canadian dollar and the price of oil tend to move in the same direction against the US dollar. But it's not all just about oil. Changes in interest rates by the Bank of Canada or the United States Federal Reserve also have an impact on the Canadian dollar relative to the US dollar. When interest rates in one country rise, investors will move capital to where they will get the highest return. That means there will be more demand for one currency relative to the other. That will drive up the value of the currency where interest rates are moving higher. So how is the value of the Canadian dollar determined? It's mostly supply and demand. Many agriculture commodities are priced in US dollars. A higher US dollar is generally associated with lower commodity prices because commodities are more expensive for buyers around the world who need US dollars to make purchases. But if the US dollar is heading higher, it will generally mean our Canadian dollar is moving lower. Canadian producers obtain a higher price in Canadian dollars when converting US dollar denominated prices. A lower Canadian dollar also makes exports more competitive in international markets, which supports sales of Canadian products. Changes in the value of the dollar have competing effects which are not necessarily easy to understand. But given our export status, a lower loonie is generally good for agriculture producers. Let's look at the 2009 to 2015 period. This chart shows the Canadian dollar is losing value against the US dollar. The Canadian dollar clearly gained value against the US dollar between 2009 and 2012, but has followed a downward trend that began in the middle of 2012. Now paste the value of a barrel of oil on top of the value of the loonie. There is a clear connection between the two lines. Oil prices moved upward during the appreciation of the Canadian dollar, but there are also times when the price of oil and the value of the loonie did not move together. Noticeably for the 12 month period between 2013 and 2014. Factors other than oil were driving the Canadian dollar then, among which the patterns of interest rates. The Canadian dollar impacts profitability of Canadian producers agribusinesses and food processors. Understanding the patterns in the loonie can support your overall business strategies.